Hey everybody, Caffeine Man here, and today we're going to be going over the Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee bottles, which can be found in stores, well, pretty much everywhere now. I'm going to be going over the caffeine count, and more importantly, I'm going to compare how these bottles actually compare to the Dunkin' Donuts itself, and some additional information that you may not have known. Coming right up. Hey everyone, thanks again for joining me. Today, I'm going to be going over the Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee bottles. And I'm going to compare them to the actual drinks that you get from Dunkin' Donuts. Now, when I first saw these, I thought to myself, who's going to buy these? When I want to get an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, I just go right down the street and get it. So how much better could these actually be? Then I realized, I live in Massachusetts, and I work in Rhode Island. There's a Dunkin' Donuts within a one mile radius of me at all times, but not everyone's that fortunate to have a Dunkin' Donuts nearby. Some people may have to travel an hour or longer to get to their nearest Dunkin' Donuts. That's not convenient. Therefore, they decided to make these bottles so you can pick them up at your local convenience store or even order them online. I'm guessing that's what Dunkin' was thinking as well because they want everyone to be able to try their coffee. Why else would they risk cutting into their own profit margin between having to bottle them, ship them out, getting all the contracts with all the stores, it's a lot of work. Well, okay, they made it a little bit easier on themselves. They partnered with Coca-Cola to do the bottling and distributing. Therefore, all they had to do was provide them with the coffee. So all that being said, let's get to the taste test. But first, I'm gonna admit something. I was a little hesitant to do my first coffee review. You see, most of my friends, they drink their coffee black. And several of my coworkers also drink their coffee black. And I know that the true coffee lovers drink their coffee black. And they give a disapproving eye to those that put other things in their coffee. Now being self-titled caffeine man comes with a bunch of responsibilities. And coffee review is a must have. And I do drink coffee, but caffeine man doesn't drink his coffee black. Now, 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 don't go clicking off the video and going someplace else because I said that. You diehard coffee fans are right. It's supposed to be black. Or is it? You see, although diehard coffee drinkers who drink their coffee black insist that that's the only way it should be served, I wondered to myself, why in the world did Dunkin' Donuts make all of their iced coffees with cream and sugar in them? Come to find out, you hardcore black coffee drinkers are in the minority. In doing the research, 65% of US coffee drinkers add dairy and or sweetener to their coffee, leaving the hardcore black coffee drinkers at only 35% of the population who drink it that way. Why else would Dunkin' Donuts not sell black coffee in the bottles? They're a smart company and they're selling to the majority. Therefore, if I'm gonna be trolled by 35% of the population, not a big deal, I'm with the 65%. Let the coffee reviews begin. Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, McDonald's Cafe. Coffee reviews for everybody. Okay, so let's get started. In prepping for this video, I went out and bought four bottles of the iced coffee, which includes the original flavor, the French vanilla, mocha, and espresso. Each bottle is 13.7 ounces and all have different caffeine counts. The original flavor has 171 milligrams of caffeine in it. The French vanilla has 184 milligrams of caffeine in it. The mocha is the highest with 186 milligrams of caffeine in it. And the espresso is the lowest with 153 milligrams of caffeine in it. And as a slight disclaimer, I just wanna say that I know that these aren't gonna taste exactly the same. All Dunkin' Donuts make their coffees different I know whenever I go, it always tastes a little bit different, even though I order it the same way every single time. It's just the nature of the beast. So when comparing these drinks, I'm gonna try and stick to how closely they taste, taking into consideration the sugar may be a little off and the dairy may be a little bit off. Let's start off with the original. This one's a small iced coffee that has extra cream and extra sugar. The reason why I went with extra sugar is because I found out the bottled drinks have 45 grams of sugar which is a lot of sugar. Now I know it doesn't compare the same way granulated sugar to the liquid sugar that they put into the drinks, so I just got extra sugar. Considering 45 grams of sugar is like 10 teaspoons, that's a lot. So let's give this a sip real quick. Open this bad boy up. In comparing the two, I was surprised that the bottled one was slightly darker, but it tasted a little bit creamier than the restaurant one. When it comes to the coffee flavor, the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant had a little bit of a stronger coffee flavor. 
And for the sweetness, they tasted about the same. So I guess ordering extra extra does give about 10 teaspoons. But still, in the end, when I had the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant coffee, it had a little more coffee flavor to it, and it has the aftertaste as well that stays with you. The store-bought one is a little more subtle, but still does taste like Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which is a good thing. Next, let's compare the mochas. They taste very similar. I'm definitely happy with that comparison. The store-bought mocha tasted almost exactly like the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant mocha. They had about the same amount of sweetness. The strength of the coffee was just about the same. And I can honestly barely tell the difference. So if you're a fan of the Dunkin' Donuts mocha and you're at the store and don't want to go through the drive-thru, go ahead and pick it up. It tastes just like the real thing. Moving on to the French vanilla. And comparing those two, they were definitely similar. The store-bought one definitely tastes like the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant one. And the store-purchased one is slightly creamier and slightly sweeter than the one that I got from the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant. I'm guessing the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant might not have put enough cream in it or enough sugar. Although it does look pretty light and there's still sugar down at the bottom. If you like your Dunkin' Donuts French vanilla a little bit creamy and sweeter, the store-bought one is going to have that. And lastly, let's move on to the espresso. strong. Now when comparing those two, you could probably tell from my reaction that the Dunkin Donuts restaurant was much stronger than the store-bought one. The store-bought one, similar to the rest, is a bit more creamy and a touch sweeter, with much more of a hint of espresso, as opposed to the Dunkin Donuts restaurant one, which had a strong espresso flavor. In conclusion, overall, most of the store-bought drinks were a touch creamier and a touch sweeter than those purchased from Dunkin' Donuts restaurants. In my opinion, the French vanilla and the mocha were very close to the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant versions. Whereas the original Dunkin' Donuts store-bought one tastes similar to the Dunkin' Donuts restaurant one, it's definitely not as strong as the restaurant bought one. And that goes for the espresso as well. The espresso restaurant bought one was much stronger than the bottled one. Now could it be because at the restaurant they put more espresso in it? It could be. But overall, the store-bought bottle espresso didn't have a very strong espresso flavor to it. So the next time you're at the store and you feel like having some Dunkin' Donuts, feel free to pick up the French vanilla, the mocha, and even the original. And depending on how much espresso that you like in your coffee, you can determine for yourself if you want to pick one of those up. And just so you know, this wasn't actually a sponsored video. I just felt that it might be something that my fellow caffeine lovers might be interested in. If you like what you heard today and want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Tuesday night.